What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome back to Back to the Future. Why is it starting it's starting us off here again for some reason? That's okay. That's cool. That's hunky dory. Alright guys, welcome back to Back to the Future. It started us off at a very weird location. We are hey back. On, Grandpa, we've got a pickup to make. So we're just going to play through this a little bit again like we did last time and then we were back on track. Alright. Need a lift? I thought you'd never ask. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Very long story. Oh, son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean and came back to get you. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. <laughs> He's coming around. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley and I'm never coming back. No! no. He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Yep. Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. Sure, whatever. Oh, whatever you want, man. Are you G-Man? Uh huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. Good man. Yeah. When can I expect to see you? <laughs> that was in a close call. Fifty years. Think you'll be okay. You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. Yeah. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. All right, all right, all right. And this is where we picked up last time. This is where we left off last time, so... I'm looking forward to see what episode 2 is going to hold for us. And again, automatically going to get demonetized because of the music in the game, but hey. Ah, home sweet home. Well, everything looks okay. Yeah. Are you sure? See, yeah? Like fly residence. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go. I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead. Kids to raise and all that. Oh, that's no, right. I'm this happens after the third game. State sale you told me about. Oh. Oh. You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. All right. See you soon, Doc. It's not going to be all okay. I, it's not. All right. Resume your life as normal, 80s teenager. Wonder if Biff finished the wax job on my 4x4. I love the Biff now works for all of us. That's awesome. Up oh, doors locked. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please. Not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. Oh. Uh, what are you talking about? Another day? Dad, what are you talking about? Marty. No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. Oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Run out of town? Out of town? What are you talking about, Dad? Let me in. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom? Oh, shit. Mom, it's me. Mom, it's Marty, Mom. Open up. It sounds like Marty, but it must be a trick. Mom, oh, come on. Go away. Shame on you. How what the hell? You? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. Oh. Uh. How you met Mom? Uh. When I was eight? When I was eight, when I was eight years old, I set fire to the living room rug. That's right. That is right. Lord, 
What are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Stupid locks. What the hell? Marty! Oh my god, what happened? Oh my god, Dad. What, what happened to you? What did happen? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff. I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp. I don't know what's going on. Whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Uh, reasonably. Who are they? <laughs> like you don't know Cliff and Riff. Who? Hey? What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. What'd you do to my dad? What did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, because you're gonna need one in like three seconds. Dodge. Ooh. Tell me. Uh. <laughs> How long has this been going on? Coming down on my dad like this. Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the park. Oh my lot. God, that's right. Uh, shut up! It's not funny. It is kind of funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family. The Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Jump. Here's what I still don't understand. What happened to mom? My mom. Yeah. How did she end up with my dad? Beats us. Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had anyone of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna. There we go. I got a question. <laughs> What'd that do to you? You guys so pissed at me. You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Think back. The thing with the manure truck. Oh. Which one? <laughs> Which one? Hey, and another thing. I was running out of town. You run out of town. Two years ago, don't you remember? No. We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back, so the kid gloves can come off. Uh. Here's what I still don't understand. Yeah, pick on someone on else. else. We do. We pick on lots of guys. It's kind of our thing. Oh yeah, I gathered that. It's in your fucking tenon board. Ah. Oh, I was wondering. Don't. Okay. And another thing. <laughs> Cultures. Hey, can we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Biff. Uh. The Tannen mob. Now the Tannins are some kind of minor league mafia. Hey, watch who you're calling minor league. The Tannen gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. Well, that's concerning. No way. You don't believe me? Oh yeah, shit! No. Water gun. Bang! <laughs> Check it out. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, JJ Valenti. Hey? Godfather of the Sacramento mob. Ooh. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Okay. Duck. Let him hit the fucking. Let him hit the bug zapper. Ah, uh, you really aren't the smartest family. You're really not that smart. Take the wider. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Who the hell are you? Oh. Is that kid? Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Oh, uh, shit. Yep, get in. Marty, get in. This time 
timeline's been compromised. No kidding. Holy crap. Highway compromise. Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kit Tan to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Jesus. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade. We've got to go back to the day Kit Tannin was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's geez, not a that's not a good thing. Nice. Just piss him off to no end. This is interesting. This is an interesting kind of, uh... It actually does feel like it could be in the fucking series, like as a movie. Alright. Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Kit Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot okay. baby saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Okay. Parker. Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of the Tannen crime family. You need yeah. to into Tannen speakeasy. Find out what's gone wrong and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Oh. Here we go. Is the mustache really necessary? That's so it's cool. Central. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Oh, yes. yay. I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. All you right. find me there if you need me. You're the duck, duck. Oh, here we go. Okay, what's this? Control console? What? Huh, looks like Emmett's been busy. Ah, it's Emmett's thing. Of course it is. Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Can't you tell me the way? Down. Straight down. The last stop before the inferno. Great. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. No. Me, 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 me. No. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. Jesus. What in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown. Why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well, to advance the human condition, of course. Right. Hello, Sonny. Sonny? Mr. Crockett, what are you doing in that getup? Going undercover. I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ainy and I have been up to. All right. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Isn't that soup kitchen? Or is it this place? No. It is. Right? The speakeasy is the, uh, the soup kitchen. If I'm not mistaken. Which I might be. I have no idea where this is. Okay, Sonny, well, we're gonna see Emma. 
How have you been? How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Great. Really? Good yes. to know. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full time to a life of science. That's good. Thanks for watching so, uh, Einstein. Thanks for watching Einstein while I've been uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. It's almost as if he's been working with me for years. <laughs> More like decades. What are you What's doing? the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. Ah. A radio controlled car? No. Well, yes, but that'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. I can understand that. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you. Is this like Ready his go, is this like his prototype for the fucking time traveling car? Watch this. I'm watching. When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious cow flop. Okay. Oh, levitating. Einstein! Oh, get him out of here! Not to worry. I've got a fail safe eject mechanism around here someplace. Oh, God. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. Oh, God. Bloody Emmett. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Okay. Why is it not... It really just won't let me cross the street over here. Come on. There we go. Alright. Hey Doc, how's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? Um You're in the park. Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never had the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Ah. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Nice. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the nice. ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. Ah. Doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. But during that famous scene when Colin and Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower and that bolt of lightning struck, well... Let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. That's so cool to get, like, all the backstory about him. Why are Tannins always such jerks, anyway? Uh, it's hard to say. Rogue Neanderthal genes in their DNA, perhaps. Trixie? I haven't really made any progress with Trixie yet. Well, get out there and make some. If she doesn't blow the whistle on Kid tonight, he may never be brought to justice. Save Einstein? Damn, it's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. What can we do? Hmm. I've got it. What? Just get my younger self distracted and I'll handle the rest. Okay. Just keep your head low, Doc. I'll be back soon. I'll keep an eye out for your grandfather. Okie dokie. I don't know where this speakeasy no thing was. No time for a haircut now. Even if they were open. Besides, they'd pro- I thought the speakeasy was a place that burnt down. Like, there. It's closed for the night. Luckily, I don't have- Anyway. Um... I gotta distract younger duck. Uh, 
Yeah. Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. Oh, uh, don't worry about him. He's a smart dog. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Thanks for the offer, Sonny. But once Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. And right now, that purpose is rescuing your dog. Um... Hmm. Seen Frankenstein? Have you seen that Frankenstein movie yet? I hear it's pretty inspirational. Not yet. I've been so busy with my rocket car that I haven't found the time. But I'm planning on going tonight. At least I will once I get Einstein down. What went wrong? What went wrong with your rocket car? I'm not entirely sure. As soon as we get Einstein down, I'm gonna go look for it. Okay. Find your rocket car? Why don't you go look for your car now? And leave Einie stuck on a ledge? <laughs> Never! Dogs are much more important than any silly rocket car. Especially one that doesn't work at all. What's with you and Edna? What's up with you and Edna? A couple months ago, I could swear she was making goo-goo eyes at you. That was before my father had her stay sober society meeting thrown out of our house. Oh. Now she takes every opportunity she can get to snipe at me and my work. It's very distracting. Parker? You know anything about Officer Danny Parker? My pop says he's a good cop when he's not drinking. Good. Of course, now I hear he drinks all the time. Great. Trixie? You know anything about Trixie Trotter? The songbird of the Sierras? The nightingale of the north? The floozy of the foothills? Uh... Never heard of her. Man, I've definitely never snuck into Tannen speakeasy to listen to her. Yeah, never. Never. Well, I'll go off and see if I can get some help. Oh wait, no. I need to tell him he needs to go see Any Frankenstein. I'm serious. So you're really going to see Frankenstein tonight? I'd hate for you to miss it. Oh, don't worry. Nothing in the world would keep me from seeing a movie about a mad scientist with delusions of godhood. Cool. Uh... Well, I don't know. You do that. I don't know. I need a hint. Doc can't rescue Einstein as long as Emmett is looking on. You'll have to find something to distract him. Okay. Make the front page of tomorrow's paper. Okay. So I have to. So I create a diversion with Edna. How? Hey, Edna. Nice song. What was that song you were singing? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. Go for it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from... Nope. You should nope. 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 Shush times. You really think so? Yeah, it's... One... Okay. Uh... You and Emmett. What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of... That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society uh. was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. Okie dokie. Not dating. Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic God, involvement. That's like the only the only thing about this game is that sometimes <laughs> it's hard Good. to figure out where the next step is because the game doesn't hold your hand like hundred percent. Which isn't it isn't a isn't a bad thing, mind you. But um at the same time. What's all this? These are my pamphlets, stations of alcohol. Ah. Lost I am for complete Okay. What does it say? You can create a diversion by playing on Edna's nosy instincts. Ah. Edna. What? Uh, you and dogs? What have you got against dogs anyway? They're smelly, rude, completely unable to take care of themselves. 
And frankly, they're not very bright. Okay. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. Harsh. Ah. It's a harsh world, Mr. Crockett. I have a story for you. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Uh. Hey, we go. To Strand's dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, Mr. here we go. Brown. Nice. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run. Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. Here we go. I'm sure my editor will agree. Oh. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present All right, danger Doc, to public safety. Go. Go. represents a clear and present danger to public safety. Your singing voice. Oh, ouch. No need to get personal, <laughs> Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. Flying cars of all the uh, yep. ridiculous you juvenile notions. me, but just imagine a world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. Well, I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working yep. on getting him down. <gasps> Heine, how'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight. Yep. But I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down? Ah, uh, great. Uh, okay. Docs is staring at me like, what the fuck is he doing? All right. Let's try getting into the speakeasy. Or a soup kitchen or whatever it is through the back. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Ah. All right. I, I can remember that. Let's do it. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Uh Um Joe Piscopo? Take a hike, squirt. God damn it. Who died and made you boss? The very mm. Hieronymus Bosch? God damn it. Who is the king of Siam? I don't know. Boss Hog? Boss Hog? Who gave the old gray mare? No. Who is Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> I'm just going to go Who through all. Gave you the Am I? Am I? Who died? Doris Day? Doris Day? Good God. Who gave you the right? Would you repeat Could that? You repeat that? Who gave you the right to knock on my door? I don't know. I've tried all of them. Joe Piscopo? There's literally no way I can do this. Who told you about this place? Place to call to my travel agent. What's the big idea? Uh, stitch in time saves nine. <sighs> Settle down, mister. Why don't you wait outside and take a nap? Napkin, please. I've made a mess. What? I have no idea. Who gave you the right? To knock on my door. Uh, I don't know. The old gray mare? What am I meant to do? <laughs> Pay close attention to the guard's statements and the patrol's response. How do the latter relate to the former? Here's the kid, the pattern. Okay. The first syllable of the correct response sounds the same as the last syllable matches challenge. What the fuck? 
Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Uh. Boss Hog? Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. I honestly have no idea. What does it say? First syllable of the correct response sounds the same as the last syllable of his challenge. Okay, I get it now. I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Or, or, or. Doris Day? Day? What will you do if I let you inside? What will you do? I'd, 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 I'd. Sidle up to you. Sidle up to your boss? Where do you live? Live. Live for more. Welcome to L Kid, sir. Holy shit, that was so much. That was so confusing. Holy crap. Right into the lion's den. Oh boy. Okay. Calm down. Don't Ladies give me the aggressive look. Gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about. Am I right? You know what I'm talking about. So let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. Hell yeah. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't Hey, she's all right. They may or may not mean a but I don't care. Out of my way, kid. Ow. I got some sorrows to drown. Oh, that must be the... Okay, I know. That must be the cop. That's why I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Why won't Trixie betray him? I'm happy, go lucky. I shouldn't bother her while she's singing. So jolly and All right, what's... Officer Parker. Hey, I know you. You're Parker. Oscar Danny Danny Parker, Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? You look familiar. I look familiar. Stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. So yeah, you got troubles. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles, buddy. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Nobody knows the trouble I've Do seen. I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car. Every okay. Morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now about those troubles. Oh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! Ah, oh, it's getting so close to him. Did you be drinking so much on duty? Yeah. Not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. Tell me. So about those troubles. Troubles? Ha! <laughs> I don't want to talk about all that depressing stuff. I want a party! Fair enough. Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I yeah. love this speakeasy. So there. Besides, if I arrested him... I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. Yeah, okay. That's so uh that's 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 cool. One little cop like me. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest me. Yeah, I know. Shannon tonight? Where'd she go? There she is. Hi. Excuse me. Are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. That is what it says. What if I had a dressing room? You have a very nice voice. I really like your voice. Thanks. I do. You I think she has a good voice. So under the weather. You're sick? Oh yeah, sore throat. That's why I'm giving Cube all so many extended solos tonight. Ah, that makes sense. I kind of wondered about that. Officer hey, Parker. Your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. Do you take requests? You know, Sister Christian. I don't do religious tunes. 
What's in? What's in? Yeah, like you let's get into it. Like let's candy. get into it. Uh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some. Hey, Toots. Any chance you could sing that Can Can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your uh, assets. Oh, okay. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. Rude. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. Oh, wow. What were we talking about again? Why do you stay? You tell me what a great guy kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But oh my god, you're, insurance you're with policy him. Checks out. I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know. You don't break up with a creep like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. That's uh that's very very true, I guess. What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. Who's that? You don't mean Artie McFly. Oh. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Oh, Had wow. Philosophy, accountant. So he must He's be like the missing piece of the puzzle. Man. Piece of he the puzzle. He had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Oh, Can wow. borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get out of kid card for weeks now. But Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like kid, you know? Yeah, I, I'd agree with you. I can find Artie if for you. If I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... <gasps> F-L-Y. Okay, yep. All right. Make a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight. Okay, Doc, if you say so. All right, we got our work cut out for her. We've really got our work hey. cut out for us. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah. Okay. Quality material. Thank you. Who are you? Where are you from? The name's uh Sonny Crockett. I'm one of you. I'm one of you guys. Don't you recognize me? No. Come on. What's the dope? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Yep. Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some bona fides. Bona fides? Hey, bartender. What'll it be? Give me a drink. I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Pepsi. Uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. Thanks for the talk. What am Next I? Time, what do I drink. need to do? This ain't no library, you know. Uh, I hate using the hints. He will not believe who you are. Can you get him to believe? Okay, what do I need to do? You pick something up during. Okay. Ah, that's a good idea. See, the hints are kind of good because I don't remember. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. Okay. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun. I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. Yep. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. Yeah, matches, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> now nah, we're good. I'm gonna go. Alright, I need to find Artie and get him and the girl in a... There we go. He's back. All right. Oh, uh, should I leave it here? I don't know. Where'd they go? Wait, where'd they go? 
All right, I need to get Arthur and Trixie into the same place. I don't know where he went, though. Duck. He'll know what to do. He's smart. He's the duck. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? All right. Arthur. I saw him. Who? My grandpa. On his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. Yep. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost her nerve to betray Tannen. All yeah. right. We've got to find your grandfather. All right. Uh, where? Any sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Great. Parker's pickled. Are you sure Tannen's supposed to be arrested by Officer Parker? The guy's a mess. Mess or no mess, I'm absolutely certain that Parker's your man. In fact, okay. His arrest of That's what we're gonna do then. Valley's chief of police. That seems really unlikely. All right. Okay, I better get back All to right. fixing history. Be careful, Marty. I think this might be the best place to leave it for today, guys. We'll pick up our investigation next time from here. We'll find Artie, put everything back the right way, go back to 1985, and everything will be hunky-dory again. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. Make sure you go check that out if you haven't already, guys. But thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Peace out. Oh, won't you take a look at us now? Play along, play along, make your boots Hold it together and pretend I understand you While you throw another tantrum Break another blade or two